Hi everyone, Johnny here working on my film study skills and today I'm looking at the Taiki Naito fight with Jonathan Haggerty from One Championships event, Big Bang 2. Let's start by looking at Jonathan's entries off the stance switch from orthodox to southpaw. In these sequences, Jonathan switches his stance to start his entry and follows through with the left kick. Pay attention to the amount of distance he can cover by planting his right foot aggressively and driving forward with his attacks. Haggerty does a great job of mixing up his timing to make it difficult for Naito to counter effectively. In addition to this, Haggerty sometimes switches his stance after throwing the lead kick and adds an extra layer of complexity by mixing feints in with his attacks. The benefits of the feints are twofold. For one, he can control the distance, and two, he is now in a solid position to throw strikes from his orthodox stance. If you haven't already seen this fight, make sure you check it out to appreciate the high level striking on display and look out for the technical elements I'm highlighting in this study and many others which I haven't. The next technical layer we're looking at is Haggerty's striking in orthodox out of his entries. Utilising the stance switch to southpaw and the leg feint to enter back into orthodox, Jonathan uses his lead hand as a feint, a trap and a measuring stick to set up his right hand. In this particular sequence, although the right hand misses, Haggerty employs a very physical double arm control to adjust his angle and distance whilst directing Naito into his left kick. You may have noticed that Naito was turning away from Haggerty's right hand, so to provide some context, earlier in the round, Jonathan utilised this same entry sequence and landed the right hand clean to score a knockdown. One of the things I love about martial arts is how the smallest adjustments can make such impactful differences, and likewise the reactions and counters that are employed can yield both positive and negative outcomes. Naito's choice to use the rear leg teep cost him in this particular instance, however the strategy was not a bad one. In these next sequences, we can see Naito using an effective counter to Haggerty's entry, utilising the lead leg teep to disrupt Haggerty's entry and preventing him from breaching the distance to utilise his lead hand control to throw the rear power shot. Although I focus on Haggerty's switch to southpaw to initiate, a key point to pay attention to is that he doesn't need to enter off the switch. Through mixing up his teeps, round kicks and feints off the lead leg, he can effectively cover the distance and generate reactions from Naito to set traps to counter with. This next example of an effective teep counter comes from Haggerty initiating with the tie hop. Again, the lead leg teep prevents Haggerty from connecting with the rear hand. As I was talking about his adjustments previously, I put together these last few sequences to highlight how the smallest differences to counter timing and commitment can yield such varied results. Full credit goes to one championship and the fighters Taiki Naito and Jonathan Haggerty. Here is one last bonus clip to highlight Haggerty's use of movement for clock control. Thanks for watching.